Hello class, so I wanted to talk with you about how to paint the first layer of the pop art painting. And, uh, you know, in this project, you have options with how you want to paint it. So, you could paint it the color as you observe, or you could, you know, use color more expressively. Um, or you could use a combination of the two, where you have some parts that are um, painted as you see them, and then some parts that are painted uh, using arbitrary color. Now, if you paint the color um, as you see it, then basically within each shape, you basically just find uh, the color that's most common in that shape, match it, and then paint that inside uh, the shape. Okay. If you want to, this is optional, you can print out um, several copies of your photo and just start drawing on it with colored pencil and experiment with colors there. I'm gonna take a more expressive approach uh, to painting this. When you start this, what I would suggest doing, as opposed to you know, going and trying to get precise shapes right off the bat, what I would do is I would just, you know, get kind of close to the edge, but not, not up to it. And really just um, see what, see how the color looks in that shape. And don't worry about getting it perfect yet. At the very beginning, I would really just play with color and see how it looks. And realize that the first color you put down doesn't have to be the color uh, that you end up using in the final, final, final painting. And our goal is to paint this opaquely, so we're not going to be using a lot of water. But we're trying to get it relatively smooth, uh, so you don't want to have uh, too many strokes in it. So also, I'm going to apply it so thick that you know you have these really visible strokes. Like I said, you know, when you first start, you don't have to necessarily go up against the edge. Kind of get an idea of what the color is going to look like inside that shape and more importantly once we get other shapes painted see how the colors look together it's, it's about the color relationships that you create more so than the individual colors themselves because how a color looks depends on the colors around it okay and then you could go in um you know place another color in and like i said don't worry about pushing it up against the edges and getting perfect um, precise shapes yet. Just place the color in there and see how it looks. Now you don't want to go across the edge too much because then what could happen is you could lose the edge and then when you go to make a precise edge then you might have a problem.
So once you kind of block in, uh, you know, a good amount of the canvas, um, and you've got a good idea of the colors that you want to use, uh, then you can go in and start to begin to refine uh, these shapes. And you know, feel free to change the colors um, as you feel necessary. Like I don't want you to feel that once you put a color down, it's stuck that way. You can adjust it and fine tune it um, as you see fit. Okay, and just remember we're going for a smooth and opaque surface. And the way that you're gonna get that is you're going to apply the paint. Okay, and I would use, so you're gonna apply the paint and then you're gonna go through and kind of give it a little backstroke. So once you put the paint in an area, give it a little backstroke to smooth it out. Okay, and then you're gonna wanna capture these edges. Now if it's a long, smooth edge, then I would suggest using the flat brush. I mean, that's usually pretty good for edges like this and then edges like this. Also for edges like this that are straight, um, you could use tape if you really wanna get a sharp edge. Um, but for stuff like this that's real intricate, I would suggest using um, the fine round, okay? The little fine round would work well in that kind of area. Okay, so I'm gonna line this one up a little bit. Like I said, these colors aren't aren't stuck. And then you give it a, just a quick little backstroke. Uh, when you go next to another color, I would say first you want to make sure it's dry. Okay, if it's wet, it's possible that the color is going to blend into it. Second, um, what you want to do is you want to slightly overlap the other color. Now, not a lot, just a little bit.
In some cases, you might want to move the canvas uh, just to get a better angle to cut it in. Okay, so I can move it, let's see, this way. So you want to just cross the whole canvas where the shapes are filled in, um, they're nice and smooth, and you got the edges cut in. And right now you're not worried about you know capturing little subtle details or subtle nuances in color. Just keep it simple and work across the whole canvas.